This is Renee Rabbit of Rabbit Design, and this is part of my free symbol series. I'm going to give you a really quick and easy bathtub shower surround with bath door. And the best part of this is the bath door is actually going to function as a door. So let's get into this. We'll take a look. There's a couple of little tricks that we need to be able to utilize here to make this all work. But when you do have it working correctly, it's a really fast draw. So let's take straight out of my library this bath assembly it's actually an architectural block so I'm just gonna place this block and then you're gonna have to do a point to point move there's no bumping for this one that's gonna work unfortunately because this particular bathtub from the Kohler catalog requires that you do a um, point to point to put it to your framing layer or your main layer um, so just gonna grab this point to point pop that into place and then from there we can explode this architectural block and what this is is there's three backsplashes here bathtub a valve a exhaust fan overhead and one led light so all that comes with this architectural block you can see as i'm zooming in here on the 3d and then the next part of this whole assembly is we're going to click on this bath wall to use with bath door now this particular wall is set up specifically just to use with that bath door nothing else so I'm gonna put this in place and this is gonna be one of those things where I have to hold my control key to override the bumps there to get this place where I want it to be placed which is right in line with the rail of that bathtub and then the last bit to finish this assembly off is placing this bath door and then making sure that it's centered in the room and you can see that it creates a pretty good looking symbol here if you look on the right hand side of your screen and the best part about this particular symbol is I can select it and in my edit toolbar which is usually down in your bottom tray there I can hit that closed door in 3d and you see there that door panel actually shut so um, a fantastic looking bath door if, if I do say so myself um, you can flip it either way it's going to change kind of the way the rail looks in 3d and then one more thing that I've got in this set of tools is going to be a shower niche and there's a few caveats with this shower niche let me just go ahead and place this it's a fixture that cuts the wall beyond so um, it works pretty well it can be stretched let's just paint a couple surfaces here it also has a grout line integrated into it so we can go ahead and paint something like a oh let's look at a color gray I'm sure we've got a gray in there or maybe they spell it differently oh they don't have a color gray and we're gonna place this very carefully oh I think I missed it yep of course I missed it There we go. So I've got that grout line in there. One thing to note about this particular symbol is if we look at our defined material, I have global symbol mapping checked. Now if I leave that unchecked for this material, and keep in mind this is painted on the back side of this, this shower niche. When I stretch this niche, which will automatically cut that backsplash, it's gonna stretch that material. So the one thing I need to do to, in order to fix that is click on this tile and make sure that global symbol mapping is checked and then it's gonna truncate that back down to the correct size so there you go and what this ends up doing is it's a really good looking niche and, and shower assembly let's take a look at this in 3d it makes for a really sharp quick bath surround so the last bit about this is if I want to say I want to get rid of this niche the client doesn't want it anymore I'm gonna delete it and you can see here the backsplash is still cut for that niche a uh, really fast and easy way to get rid of that is hit delete and then control z to undo and it's going to redraw that backsplash filled in so a really simple way of, of being able to throw in a niche delete it back out and the, and the caveats that come along with this so um, i hope you enjoyed 
check out these symbols are going to be in the description and please subscribe.